Jock here. This video, we are going to look at taking a design and creating multiple variations to showcase that to your client, your project sponsor, or even your manager for that matter. Now, this video and this website I'm designing, it's part of a large video that I've created. And this specific design is meant for a yoga and fitness studio. Now in the description below, you can go check out the full video and you will also find all the media and assets that I've used as well as the full design. You can get that from the Figma community. You can duplicate it, reuse it, do whatever you want with it. But in this video, in this video specifically, I'm gonna show you how to create different variations so that you can showcase multiple designs very quickly and very easily. So let's check it out. All right, so this is the last part of the video. And just to recap, we are gonna put everything together, but we are also gonna play around with a little bit of variations. All right, so first things first, we are gonna take our tablet and mobile. We're gonna move that to the right-hand side. We're gonna start putting the whole thing into one beautiful looking design. All right, so now that we've moved that, I am on the left-hand side here. I'm gonna take the frame. We're gonna drop in a clean frame. So we're gonna use 1920. We're gonna activate auto layout. I'm gonna make sure the gap is zero, make sure the padding is zero on both sides and top and bottom. All right, so we're gonna change the actual name to prototype design one. And this is what the client's gonna see or your project sponsor or whomever you're designing this for. Now we are going to select it. We're gonna make sure that this is set to fixed and make sure this is set to hug. Now we're gonna slap everything in. So to do that, we're gonna start with slider, gonna take slider, copy that, and drop it into our prototype. Done, okay, good. Next, we're gonna take our services, we're gonna copy that, and we're gonna drop it into our design. Okay, so quick thing, what's happening here, as always, as per usual, we need to adjust mainframe, our prototype design one, so I'm gonna select that, we're gonna change that orientation. Good, there we go. Next up, we are gonna take our latest classes. We're gonna copy that. We're gonna select our prototype design one and drop it in. All right, next, we're gonna take our team. We're going to copy that and we are gonna select our prototype design one, drop it in. So where I'm going out with this whole thing. Take the CTA, we're gonna copy that and we're gonna drop it in. And last but not least, we're gonna take our footer, copy it, and we are going to drop it in. So I'm just navigating or moving to the top here. All right, so now when we look at the preview, go back to everything, we are supposed to see a full design. Now I want this thing to be stretched or fit with, yeah, that's it. And now we can scroll down and look at the entire design from beginning to end. Now, one thing I notice is that we have a lot of dead space here. And the reason for that is because of the padding that we use. So we're definitely going to modify that. Okay, so now with this all done, let's scroll to the top. Let's start by changing a few things here and there. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is we are going to keep this as is. So this is gonna be a design variation for the client to choose from. Perfect, just as is, that's good. Now I'm gonna take our services and we're gonna duplicate it. And what I want to do when I duplicated this, I wanna change the background color on this one. So I'm going to select our services. Let's go and change the background color. I'm gonna change it to light and we're gonna change these boxes. We're gonna change that to white. There we go, there's white. Beautiful. So that's another option for us to, to present to the client itself. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my first design prototype, gonna duplicate this whole thing. And you're gonna notice that Figma already renames it for you, which is pretty cool. That's that's really good. It's a new feature, by the way. It was never like that, but I've noticed that on Fig Jam actually the other day. Okay, we're gonna take our services. We're gonna copy it, go back to prototype design two, and we are gonna open it up. And just wherever it says our services, I'm just gonna delete that one. And then we're gonna drop in our new one. Now it's gonna drop it at the bottom, which obviously is not what we want. I'm just gonna scroll up. We're gonna minimize all of the frames. We're gonna take it and we're just gonna move it up. Now, what we've done is we created this beautiful looking background image to give that good, nice looking separation. 
Okay, so I want to be a little bit creative here. I want to add a wave between our services and latest classes. I think that's going to be a creative way of just getting some vibrance into this design. So to do this, I'm going to click on Prototype Design 2. We're going to open up plugins and navigate to plugins for that matter. And I'm going to select Get Wave. So if you don't see that, obviously you can search it, but you can search for Get Wave. Okay, I'm going to click on that. And essentially what this plugin does is it generates good looking, awesome looking waves that you can use throughout the entire design. Some people use this for charts and I've used it for charts in the past as well. Works really great, but it can also be used for what we're trying to achieve here. All right, so when you see the plugin kind of pop up, you're going to see a little slide on the middle to right hand side of the plugin. And when you scroll it or when you drag it to the right, it's going to create more wave variants or add more kind of wavy parts to the wave. So you can go quite crazy here and be super creative. But for this and what I'm trying to achieve, I am going to stick with something like this. Now you can also click on this button here and it's going to give you different variations, but I really like this one and I'm going to drop this in. So I'm going to type or press create and it's going to drop it in for us. Now, a few things when you drop it in, it's not actually going to drop it into our frame. So we need to take it and we need to move it into our frame. Now that we've done that, we are going to change the color and I'm going to change the color to light. And I'm also going to flip it on the vertical ax. So there we go. Now we have a wave. So when we, oh, I can see that my preview is gone. So we're going to click on that. We're going to get that to open up again. But you're going to see that we have a creative way of shifting between these two sections. Now that we've done this, we can, I'm just going to scroll down. We can have a look at it. And I think we're at the wrong prototype. So I'm just going to click the right arrow. And there we go. We have a wave. But the problem is now, is we have a lot of space at the top here, a lot of space here at the bottom. So we definitely need to go and modify this. Now, because we are using auto layout and because we are using the structure we're using, this can be quite tedious and this can be quite troubling. But, you know, using this for many times, I've figured out a way to make it super easy. Now, first off, we're gonna select this and we're going to decrease the actual height of it so that it still looks good. And you gotta constantly switch between your prototype and your design to see how this looks like. But I think that's a good start. Next, what I want to do is I want to double click it and we need to highlight all these, all these at the top. And we're going to use our arrows to move it down. And as you can see, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here and you're going to see that it gets to a point where it is getting smaller on the vertical ax. Okay. With that, I'm just going to select it. I'm just going to see, we have a little line there, so we've done too much of it. So I'm going to use the up arrow just to move it up a tiny bit. And let's see, let's put it about there. Let's see if that works. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now we have a creative separation. And obviously you don't have to do this. This is just an extra little step. But now we have that creative kind of wave. Now you can go, if you're very particular like me when it comes to actual spacing, because obviously you know, there's a lot of space going on here. You can play around with the marginal padding top of latest classes. So I'm going to click on latest classes and we are going to open up the top and I'm just going to decrease the 96 to perhaps 48 and see how that looks like. Yeah, that already looks good. I'm going to do the same for our services as well. We just want to decrease the padding bottom I change that to 48. And again, why I'm using 48? Why am I using 96? Well, this is all part of bootstrap. This is part of bootstrap spacing sequence. And this is just going to make it so much easier to actually go and develop this. Now, I'm still not 100% there. I still feel like this is a lot of spacing. So I'm going to go back and I'm actually going to change the padding top. I'm going to change that to zero. See how that looks like. That looks pretty good. So now we've created a creative variant for our client to select, which looks pretty good. All right, so let's continue. Let's let's move on with this. I'm going to change the background color of our great team as well. So I'm going to take this frame and we are going to duplicate it. And once we've duplicated this, I'm just going to zoom in, I'm just going to move it down and move it closer. And with this, I am going to change the background. We're going to change it from white. Let's see how dark looks like. 
And again, this is all about playing around with different colors to see if it's actually going to work. I'm going to change all these. We're going to change it to white. Oh, I did not do the paragraph. So I'm going to select the paragraph and we're going to change that to white as well. Actually, that's too white. So let's go back. We're going to take the paragraph and we're going to change it to perhaps gray 200 or gray 400, just so that it gets to a point where it looks smooth. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to also change this one to gray 500. And I am going to change the color of team to primary, just so it gives it a little separation there. All right, so now we have another variation that we can provide to our clients. So I'm going to copy team members and we're going to drop it in here. So I'm going up, I'm scrolling up using my mouse wheel. Don't know why I'm doing that. I should use space. It's much quicker. And we're going to paste that in. All right, so now that we've pasted that in, we need to get it to this team member. So I'm going to delete this one and we're going to take this and we're going to move it up. All right, so now we've created yet another version for our client to choose from. And again, you can be super creative. Obviously that button is not going to work. So I'm going to zoom in and we're going to change up that button. Now you can go and change it at your different variation over here, but because I don't want this video to end up being five hours, we are just going to change it right here. So I'm going to change that and we're going to change it to primary color. And we're just going to change the font to white. All right, let me just scroll down here, select white. Perfect. So now when we go back to our preview, we can see that we are creating different variations for our clients to choose from. Last but not least, I'm going to use some of that call to actions that we already created. I'm going to take this one. We're going to reuse this one. I'm going to copy it and we're going to drop it in to our prototype design. Now, of course, it's going to drop it in at the bottom, which is kind of expected. I'm going to minimize my layers and we're going to move this up. And I'm going to close or cancel or delete our call to action. And let's see how this looks like. Another variation for a client to choose from. So the point that I'm trying to make here is you can definitely play around and get very creative with your designs by doing it and designing it the way that we designed it. So I'm going to leave this with you. I'm going to ask you to go ahead and create more variations. Play around. Be creative make sure that you keep all your variations and variables on the right hand side with different frames so that you can always revert back. Okay, now before we go on to the next part where we're going to select a good font, I am going to be changing this navigation, I'm going to actually get it to be in the center. So to do that, we're going to select it, we're going to select our container. And this is our inner nav right now, because it's a asset or an instance, we are going to detach it because we want to modify it, of course. So once it's detached, we are going to select our home and everything in between from home to contact. We're going to select that. We're going to group everything that's within. We're going to activate auto layout. And I'm just going to say nav for now. And we want to take this nav and we are going to put it between the logo and the inner nav, which now it's not going to be inner nav anymore. It's going to be button. So we can change this to CTA button. Last but not least, I'm just going to increase the spacing here a little bit. And this yet again is another variation for you to showcase to the client. So the first variation being like this and the second variation being like that. So the point that I'm trying to make is always be constantly making small changes because your project sponsor, your client, your manager is going to appreciate you going the extra mile and doing this.